And unfortunately for the Knights, most of the play has been done on the road. And we're off and running here from JPJ Arena. Shot clock at five, down low, the hammer applied right away by Caden Shedrick. The five for Tony Bennett. Shedrick into Gardner. Gardner gets it back, drops it in. Till they were tagged with a big 15-0 run. Gardner spins, hangs, and scores. I like it. Jaden Gardner attacking the basket once again. That's off and a rebound taken by Racine. After you missing on their first four field goals of the game. And Square makes it five. Trying to battle to get it back. Tips it around. The possession alive. The three. That's good. And a turnover the other way as Rush steps in. Down the floor for Lamote. Rush. He'll launch. And hit. And just like that, we're tied up. So Brandon Rush. Even if you're not making shots, you can get foul, get to the free throw line. And oftentimes, making a free throw is enough to crack the ice. Down to two on the shot clock and the dunk by Jaden Gardner. Gardner is able to take advantage of a beautiful find from Kihei Clark. Two-point lead for the Cavaliers at 8-6. Down low, Francisco Cafaro, and that ball gets batted in. Down to four. Good defense here by UVA. Dunn, contested three, almost banked it in. The rebound and the putback by Racine. But giving up a number of offensive rebounds to FBU. Gardner working against Racine goes glass. You have both Francisco Cafaro and Caden Shedrick on the floor. Shedrick at the four position, who gives them more defensive ability at that spot. But Jamal Franklin really not aggressively looking for his three-point opportunities, but has been good attacking the basket. Just saw the women's, Virginia's women's team headed out to NC State on the bus when I pulled up for the game today. Got to see my former teammate James Posey. That's exactly right. He gave his back to Clark. So that was uncontested, and now another steal. This time it's Beekman on the run. Reverse layup. That's good. Defenders, third in the ACC in steals per game at two per one. FDU having a hard time when they go in the lane as Watara able to hit the jumper from outside the paint. In Virginia, going to see a lot of zone defenses this year until they show that they can consistently make three-point shots. Gardner, another dunk. Gardner, once again, with the flush, as he's had a strong first half. Watara struggling. Down the four. Barry with one. Launches and hits. Antoine Jacks to a cutting Dunn. Dunn hangs in the air, goes window and scores. Fortunate play there for Caden Shedrick that he has done. Got another good look from three. Right back down the floor. Franklin, easy bucket. So FDU didn't get back quickly enough on the defensive side. FDU hanging around 24 17. And a steal. Gardner. Will drop it home with the right hand. Just under seven minutes in this first half. And a turnover on the other end as Munden tracks it down. Bounce pass ahead. Layup is rejected by Cafaro. Clark trying to get a step. Hanging in the air and scoring is Franklin. Nice finish by Franklin. The shots that Tony Bennett will take from Reese Beekman. He wants him to be more of an aggressive offensive player. Well, you talked about things fine-tuning for ACC play as Franklin fine-tuning his game with a jumper. We just got a chance to look at one of those bowl teams and a few members of it as Reese Beekman comes up with a huge block. <laughs> as Fenway, voice of the Boston Red Sox. We know he is certainly familiar with those haunts. And the layup in from Jaden Gardner. Jaden Gardner at the five position. Cody Statman moving to the four as Francisco Cafaro takes a seat. And Caden Cedric still back on the bike. So much experience and leadership with Clark. Statman taking it to the rack. No good. The follow is there. Concerning watching him over on the bike. Spending the majority of the first half on the sideline. Gardner pump fake. Got it again. Now Franklin. In the Gardner. Easy two again. 
Great interior passing for Virginia in this game. They've done a great job. But the, the trap on the post is what patented part of the pack line defense for Tony Bennett. And an and one for Jaden Gardner. And what they're going to see in ACC play, which is part of the reason why they're going with the post trap here in the second half. Franklin from deep. Gardner's getting better, and he is giving the effort that's necessary. Oh, what a lob by Gardner. Well, I think it's extremely important because you have someone who's been through it, and more importantly, you've got someone who played for Coach Bennett as Coach Jaden Gardner continues to cook. How to be able to get through those times where you have to be mentally tougher to play for Tony Bennett. Tony Bennett is not going to cuss you out. He's not that type of coach who's going to berate you and scream on you just another. Lamote fires a three. Catches the front of the iron. Clark on the move. Bounce pass ahead. Here we go. For Beekman who throws it down. There we go, Reese. Rush. Trying to find some space. Backdoor feed, the block by Cafaro. In part because of obviously Caden Shedrick's work. Poindexter, the runner, that's good. And once again, like Malachi Poindexter attacking, he figured it out, shooting the basketball very well on their home court. See if that continues after us at Cameron Indoor. But uh, goes back East Carolina. East Carolina bumped up his money to keep him there as Igor knocks down the three ball. And, you know, one of the things... Stabman for three. That's no good. Kafaro with a rebound. He's trying to battle down low. Gets the layup. I'll tell you what. Batara. Now Rush into the lane. Scores. Nicely done. Well, no question. You never know what you'll need to do in terms of the bench, especially to go through a physical ACC season. Much last year in the COVID year, he's really a freshman this year. And then Tane Murray is a freshman. And Square, who gets it back here, goes to the glass and scores. So Mikey Square Jr. gets the rebound and finishes it off on the other end. That we've seen from Virginia in the decade past. And each and every one of these guys gains more and more experience but at the same time you bring in a very strong recruiting class full of guys who are Tony Bennett type players. Shedrick rebound keeps it alive. McCorkle will fire. That's good. With the Virginia women's basketball team tough task for Virginia going down to NC State. So I, I got a little bone to pick with Park Hill right now who of course is a Fixture here at the University of Virginia. The practice facility, the court named after Barry Park Hill. Him winning ACC Player of the Year, of course, setting the scoring record with 51 points for the Cavaliers. Just McCorkle for players coming in off the bench. Perhaps an opportunity for them to earn future playing time. Milicic, three, that's good. Murray for three. That hits. Launching those threes. It's a 79-44 lead. Well, it wasn't Virginia starters getting it done from beyond the three-point arc, but the guys coming in off the bench. Who's into the game for the first time. McCorkle. He'll try another three. That's good. That's shooting with confidence. It really is. And after the loss versus JMU, and again, that was the first true road game that this Virginia team had played. They play neutral size game, but playing on the road is different. And this team will continue to get better as this season goes along. Tremendous performance by the Cavaliers, an 82-49 win over FDU.